The skep baskets of the sun hive are weaved out of rye straw which has been grown on Tablehurst Farm in Forest Row in Sussex. If we remove the top basket, we reveal the calico cover. This cover stops the bees from actually attaching their comb to the top basket. As you can see, we can see the support structures of the hive. Here we have the hoops on which the bees hang their comb. These sit on top of the dividing board from which the bottom skep hangs. The bees enter the hive through the scala which is placed at the bottom of the hive and they land on here on this wicker platform and crawl into the hive. From there they continue up into the hive and build their comb. The wooden parts of the hive are plywood and have been laser cut so they're very precise in their measurements. There is a lid which is removable and from there it is possible to remove the top part of the calico cover. In a year when the honey harvest is good it is possible to place a small box on top of the hive on which the bees can climb and put in surplus honey which the beekeeper or the bee guardian can harvest. The scala is detachable from the hive and is made out of oak and handwoven in wicker. The bottom skep is easily removed. If this hive was now full of bees, we would be able to see the combs hanging down, emulating the shape of the bottom skep. The skep baskets are woven around a wooden mould. This allows the skeps to be the precise shape and size based on the design of Guntamanka. A complete hive will take approximately 14 hours to make. Sun hive making workshops are held in West Sussex. We encourage prospective sun hive owners to make their own hive to enable them to build a stronger relationship with their bees and their hives. The sun hive forms the core of the Natural Beekeeping Trust's commitment to bee guardianship. The Trust had the great privilege of introducing this beautiful hive to Britain and are confident that it will make significant contribution to the well-being of the honeybee. It's based on an ingenious combination of skep baskets made of rice straw and wooden support structures and the hive itself is intended for installation at a height of at least two and a half metres. The shape of the hive replicates the natural form of the colony and enables the bees to design their brood nests according to their own criteria. The hive was designed by German sculptor Gunter Manka and represents the fruits of many years of research into the nature of the honeybee colony.